guys, Cinder Stalker here for a video. This video right here, it's a start off to a rainy day. It's rainy as hell out right now in San Diego. You know, at least for us it is. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to deal with it. I got some places, but I think I might just have a little lazy video at the house if you want. I picked up some Jack in the Crack. That's what you do on a rainy day in the morning. And uh, also toward the end of this video, I have a um, couple of movie reviews I'm going to check out with you guys. A couple of cool films. So you one really good one, classic one. I'll let you guys know what I think of this. Now, let's go back to the pad, munch on this. Now in the house, got my food on the table. I gotta figure out what to watch right now. Let's go look and see what to watch on this rainy day. So me and the road just a bit ago, you can see how much rainy it is here in town. Old San Diego driving on the freeway in the rain. This is how it's like, folks. Whoa, look at that. Right in my face. Right in my face. I'm thinking something kind of cozy, something kind of like that. So how about something from the cool, awesome VHS kids collection of cool awesomeness up here let's go see what to check out what to watch maybe i don't know we got some toxic crusaders uh, what else we got little ninjas new kids in the block i got some oops don't want to drop the groovy ghoulies we got some brave star which is pretty cool and still sealed up i see hulk hogan brother thumb wrestler hulk hogan and right up here above the pocket ninjas is this Right up here, Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling from the good people at Dick or Deke. I took out the tape and I got to rewind it. Bummer. While the tape's rewinding, doing its thing, retro style, I'll show you what I got at Jack in the Crack. Accompanied by my orange juice, because I'm a healthy kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? I got the $3 breakfast platter for the hell of it. You know, it's just like it's breakfast time right now. It's in the morning still. If I can get this out, boom, right there. Here we go. Little mini baby pancakes, some scrambly eggs, some uh, sausage thing. I'm gonna touch with. I wash my hands. Some hash browns. I'm gonna put some syrups on that bad boy and the booter. All right, tape is rewound. Let's play this bad boy and munch on this. I put some of the butter on it. Dunk those in there. See how these little mini pancakes are, and try these out. The good people at Deek or Dick. That's how I show that. I don't know why. It's just funny. Here's the intro though. Here's the intro to the Hulk Hogan brother. Look at this. Oh yeah, so cool. With this song. Oh, it's so awesome. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta wait for this pancake. I gotta I gotta watch this. This is a classic, cool 80s, you know, wrestling show. Friggin' awesome mid-80s style. Gotta love it. Now on that note, let's go try this out. Oh yeah. Not bad. It's pretty good for like a little crappy thing. These little pancakes are not too shabby. I'm trying to think what to check out next or do here while I'm at home right now. Um, you know what? Let's go through some like an old. I, got a, I still have a couple of boxes of stuff I didn't like put up yet. Let's go look at those boxes. See what the hell's in there, and just uh, do some stuff like that. A little random whatever before the movie reviews. Look at this. I got a Barbie video for only one cent. Like I said, a thrift shop. It's uh, stupid and silly, but it's okay. My Robert England autograph, eight by ten, which I do have to hang this up. I haven't had time to do it yet. And also, I got in here creature from the Black Lagoon. And what's this? What is this? There you go. I took the Pepsi challenge. I took the Crystal Pepsi challenge and passed. Frankenstein uh, photo, which is kind of cool. With some film stock on it right there. The head. That my uh, buddy Tommy Fitt made of me of like the the sheep's pubes, this thing which I had got this a couple years ago with uh, Sean at a thrift shop. It's like this old school <clears throat> uh, computer game called uh, Wizard Wizard Drill, and it's like um, still sealed. And I just, I just kept it. I don't know why. Maybe I'll, I'm sure I'll sell it. You know, put it. You know, I'm not gonna have no use for it. But let's just put it on the bay and try to sell. I think it goes for like. I believe 50 to 60, something like that. Maybe a little bit more or less, I don't know. It's right around there, I believe. It has all my old school toys up in here. Just have my wall, which I'm gonna put these in a different spot. And then we have ECW, Shane Douglas. I got these up in Vegas. Um, I think for like a couple, like a few bucks a pop or something like that. I was like, eh, what the hell, ECW is cool. These just incredible Shane Douglas toys. Uh, this one's, these ones I got at the thrift shop that my Swamp Thing ones. Very cool. Happy to get those for a couple of bucks or something like that. Really rad. Love that. <clears throat> Tells from the Crypt Keeper. 
the Crypt Keeper himself right up in there. Puppet Master, you know, gotta love that. Good classic right up here of Jester. Do I get this at, uh, I believe, Bargain Hunters? One of the first times I was with the Bargain Hunters, I got this for like, I think, really cheap. I think it was like $10 or something like that. The Star Wars toy still. Admiral Akbar from like the original Return of the Jedi. Definitely happy to have these. These things are cool. Really awesome. Good condition. Other one up there, little, uh, little Ewok. Imitation Power Rangers toy, which I got this at the cool Dina video with my buddy Sean a couple of years ago. I'm gonna be going on a three now. <clears throat> Bought this up there. That place is no longer there. But that spot was amazing. Really cool. Random stuff I thought I'd show you guys. Stuff you, I'm sure you've seen before, but I figured I'm just gonna show you guys some, some stuff I have in my moving boxes still, which I do will and I will put up very, very soon. So I haven't really got around to doing it, but I have some ideas I'm gonna put this stuff at. And now on to another note. Let's go on to the movie reviews right now. Two movies to talk about right now. Right, first off, I'm gonna start with a classic movie, super classic, on the 40th anniversary of this bad boy coming out with by Lucio Fulci. Amazing movie, the classic zombie. And these are right here from MVD Entertainment and Blue Underground. She got this the rad lenticular cover. This just came out this past Tuesday. So if you want to get this, it's available now. But isn't that so cool? It comes with three different versions of the cover. I believe they're all a lot of them are sold out, but super great 4K restoration of this classic. Looks absolutely beautiful on Blu-ray. Looks amazing. The 4K restoration did a great job. The sound quality, everything looks amazing and superb. I'll load up with some great features I'll show you right now in detail a little bit better. It's a three-disc set. You get a brand new commentary by Troy Haworth, author of uh, Lucio Fulci and his films book. Another um, new feature interview with Stephen Thrower. Um, this is some good stuff over here. Disc 2 has a lot of stuff they had in other previous editions, but it's all in this set. You get that cool making of, the effects, all that stuff, from the music and everything like that. The great, great soundtrack to this thing. Absolutely amazing. And including that, you get the soundtrack with this also by the great Fabio Fritzi. Super good. Let me show you guys the contents of this bad boy. Cool lenticular slip. Super rad. Uh, this actually comes with a reversible cover. I'll put the original on there. I love the original one, it's so classic right there. But here's a cool booklet, take these out for you. Really great booklet in this thing, nice detail. I have to explain the movie, you know, really I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Zombie available now, link down if you want to get this amazing edition. Definitely do yourself a favor and get this, it looks amazing. Plus it's cool, it comes with the awesome soundtrack, good, good stuff. And next up here is this one called uh, Death House, which I was really curious about. It has an all-star horror cast, you know, starring Kane Hodder, Sitad, Michael Berryman, Adrian Bardot, Bordeaux, um, a little quick uh, appearance of Gunnar Hansen of his last appearances in a movie. You know, there's a bunch of people in this flick, like this, you know, Lloyd Kaufman, Camille Keaton, Felissa Rose, Tony Todd, of course, Vernon Wells. There's a bunch of people up in this thing, and I thought it was going to be an amazing all-star horror cast of a movie. I was so excited for it. But I was watching this thing... It was not as good as I thought it would be. Pretty much the uh, story takes place as these two agents. They uh, they go to this secret prison called Death House. And these weird like labyrinth mazes. But the story is just kind of confusing. They're going to fight their way through it. And these, like, he's gonna, and all the characters are like, like, there to like to get them and stuff like that. It's like virtual reality kind of. And like this is just, it's, but it's not. It's just a weird, strange way how they did this. And it's not really that good of a movie. And I was trying really hard to enjoy this movie. And it was, it was just, it was just, a, a, just a disappointing right here. This is definitely like, I don't know, uh, caution beware, buy your own risk. More of like a rental if you can get it. If you want to buy it, go ahead and buy it. Um, or get it for really cheap if you're able to. Um, it's just not that good of a movie. Like, I don't know. Some of the, the effects are pretty cool in it. Just the story of it is just sort of confusing. And the dialogue is kind of bad. It's, it's, just, it's just kind of like, it's just a weird uh, hodgepodge of almost like a mess, sort of in a way, this uh, Death House is. I was just disappointed with it. It was not that good of a movie. Um, it's just, I, was, uh, I thought it would be way better than what it was, but it's too bad it's not. All right, so that's it for my reviews right there. A couple of quick reviews right now. So hope you guys enjoy that. Boop, boop, boop. Link down below if you want to get these at and more. So check these out. And now back to the rest of the video. Me chilling at home on a rainy day. I thought of something kind of cool. Hope you guys like this. I'm gonna go through my toys again. Remember, I showed you guys the video where I went through my the garage at my house like over a year ago. Got my toys. Let's go through that again 
can see what's in there a little bit more. I don't know. Probably the same stuff, but it's my, might as well do it on a rainy day. Let's see what's inside here again. Here it is. Oh yeah, all my Ninja Turtle toys and a few other oddities up in here. Kind of just go through these and check some of these out. Reminisce these bad boys on a on a rainy day. It's always kind of nice, right? Little mouser still sort of works. Not really, but the noise is there. <laughs> Terminator 2, of course. T2. Oh, yes. I'll be back. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista. And you get, like, you know, Ghostbusters. Wolverine with the mask from back in the day. The X-Men, you know, from the old Fox cartoon. Awesome. Chuck friggin' Norris. He just kicks ass. You know what I'm saying? Check that. Whoa. 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 Some mutagen canister right there. Razar, Razar, Razor, a couple of Michelangelo's. Why have two Michelangelo's? I don't know, dude. That's this video right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this little rainy day, stay at home kind of style video. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Let me know if you're gonna get that zombie 40th anniversary edition of it, that kind of deal. And I'll catch you guys later on the next video. It's time for me to kick back and try to get too wet out there and cold and get sick. I don't want to get like that, but hopefully I don't. I'll catch you guys later on the next one. I'll see you. Bye-bye.